Hi, come on in. Hi, I'm Colleen with EMC. How are Sarah. you? Sarah Nesbitt, nice to meet you. Nice Have a seat. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, how are you? It's a pleasure meeting you. You too. Jenny's spoken very highly of you. Yeah, she's wonderful. She's awesome. How long have you known her for? Oh gosh, almost a decade now. We've worked together um, and just established a great friendship along the way. Yeah, same here. She's been, we've always been going off of each other, crossing paths. Yep, yep. Now, I really want to be conscious of your time today. I know you said that 10 minutes on the phone, is that correct? Yeah, I have, a, I have 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, so I was hoping that you and I could mutually decide something that would work for your company. I want to learn about Franklin Savings Bank, how you guys are handling your data, and you know, maybe you, and the next best step for you. Okay, sounds good. Okay, what challenges have you been facing in the past year with your IT? Yeah, um, I'd say our biggest challenge is, is our, our uptime, our data availability. That's what's top of mind, I think, in the industry that we're in. Our end user experience is what's really important to us. Okay. Um, so that's where the IT department really helps meet the business needs and keeping the end users happy. So, for example, our online banking system needs to be up and running at all times. However, when it isn't, that falls on my shoulders to get it back up and running. So regardless of the time of day or night that that happens at, I need to be back in the IT department getting things back up and running for the end user experience. So I'd say that's probably the biggest challenge. Yeah, could you you definitely tell me more about that, you know, how, how long it might be taking you if something were to happen. Yep. Um, you mean to get back up and running? Yeah. Yeah. It varies. Um, it could be it could be a handful of hours, it could okay. be 24 hours. So it just varies on the severity of um, the issue at hand, whether I need assistance along the way. Yeah. So it, it varies. But, um, you know, obviously the ideal is to get back up and running as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah. Now, how are you currently handling your data? How, what do you mean? Your data storage. Uh, oh, okay. Side. Yep, no, no worries. So we're storing it directly on the server, so direct attached storage. Okay, and how's that going for you? You know, are you finding it to be working great or some lag time? Um, like so, yeah, before? that's where the lag time would come in, any downtime that we have. We've been using some sort of direct attached storage since we've started here, so it's what we're comfortable with, it's what we know. Okay. Is it the best solution on the market? Probably not, but, you know, we keep our head above water as best we can. You know, some of my clients do say the same thing about their situations yeah. now. Now, could you just say how much resources you are using to keep that direct attached storage going versus um, in innovations? Yeah. Um, I, I can't associate a dollar sign with okay. it. Um, that's more for my higher ups. However, I do have a team of, of two additional <coughs> admins that I work with on a day to day basis, as well as a higher up, Alex. He's on the operation side of things. So we have a good team here. Okay. I don't know the dollar signs associated with <laughs> it. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Now, could you scale one to 10, 10 being the best, how your current situation is working for you? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's a tough question. I would say, I'd have to say it's working. Is it, I don't know if it's the best. It definitely disrupts my personal life sometimes. Love spending time with my family and it pulls me away from that. Yeah. Give it a five. A if five. it works for us um, and it's what we have. So, perfect. Gotta make it work. Now, two things you could think maybe give, it, give you guys a 10? Um, to get to the 10? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think just having something that's up, you know, the uptime is there. Um, and then something that's easy to manage is key. We do have, although it is just a team of five, any one of the five of us needs to be able to manage what we have in-house. Yeah. So I think being user-friendly is definitely important. Okay, perfect. I think I got a lot of great information from you today. Is there anything you else you think I should have uncovered? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that's a deal. <laughs> I don't know what you need. Now, if I could show you how EMC's VNXC could possibly help your data storage, would you consider doing business with me? Um, I mean, honestly, I'm not the decision maker. Okay. I have zero decision making power. You definitely need to meet with the higher ups. I'm all ears to listen and hear what you have to say. Okay. Um, but I, I really don't have any decision making power. That's that's fine. Um, do you know anything about EMC? I I know that you guys are a huge company that um, that I didn't think could do business with us. <laughs> we are a large company, backed up by Fortune 200. It's a Fortune 200 company. Yeah. So we are large, but we do cater to small and medium businesses just like yours. I actually was in a project a few weeks ago at the Service Credit Union in New Hampshire. Same situation here. So as you can see, it's not just large companies. Okay. So now, Sarah, you did mention that time is something that's extremely important to you. Yeah. And with the VNXC, you'd be getting a lot of your time back just by implementing the product at your at your company. So, whereas, you just you mentioned before, you love hanging out with your kids' soccer games. Yep. So, whereas, if something were to happen, you miss the game because you have to be in the office fixing it. So, with the VNXC, if something were to happen, you know, failing, it, a new data storage, or one of our drivers, yep. would pick that up for you, and you would, it would not bother Dave at all. Okay. Now, do you think going further with, you know, meeting with higher people in your group would be beneficial? 
Um, Can you do it Alex per se? Yeah, I, I definitely think that's the way to go. I, I think you have my attention as far as what I can provide for the business, but um, I mean, I, have, I like I said, I can't really sign off on anything. Does anything I mentioned a little bit concern you at all? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. As long as it's easy to use and it's not going to be disruptive, it's fine by me. <laughs> okay. Now, do you want to possibly meet next Friday? Bring uh, Alex into the picture? Um, yeah, I can see what his, his availability is. And um, absolutely, I mean, I don't see why not. Awesome. So for next Friday again? Sounds good. Thank you. All right.